Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's GT Jr. What's up, y'all? GT Jr. grows it. Um, so I thought I should do a video outside. Because pretty soon, it's about 52 degrees right now. It's September the 17th. It's a Saturday. Pretty soon... It's going to be over. I'm not going to see this much sun. So, I wanted to go ahead and just do a um, sea haul. I'm sorry, y'all. It's going to be over soon. So, but before we get to that, I want to let y'all know. Before we get to that, y'all know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to drop that beat. Okay, now that we're back, let's go for our first package. This one has less, so let's open that. Probably one of my less um, Probably one of my last um, seed haul videos because it's about to get cold and there's no need for me to go and get more because I have everything. I I have everything that I think I can possibly make. Um, so let's get it, y'all. Quinoa, bright, brilliant quinoa. A riot of color. Orange, pink, burgundy, white, yellow. Four inch, four foot plants offer edible leaves, nurturous, nutritious grain. Requires cool conditions, tolerates, tolerates light frost, direct seed in very early spring. Allows seed heads to form and dry on the plant. Harvest, thresh, and rinse three, four, cookies. So, it's not frost hardy. Here's a cherry vanilla quinoa. It's an Asian crop of the Indies. Three to five foot plant. Make the dazzling pink seeds. Gosh. Like this, like this. Grow for greens or grain, or just for ornamental. Okay, this is my free one. They reach eight inches. Um, the carrots have bright purple skin. Flesh comes in shades of yellow and orange. Great for marketing. And it's frost hardy. Green giant tomato. Ooh, did I see this song? Precious. I think this is the one Precious had. Yeah, I think this is the one. Man, what's the name of her channel? I just, when I see a picture, I just click on it. Now I can't even remember. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. All right. Most productive, best tasting tomato in our trials large one pound emerald green fruit sweet and juicy mm -hmm. okay the next one is the blush tiger tomato it's an indeterminate saladet tomato that glitters and shines with superb flavor to boot bred by seeds um, this 2 to 2.5 inch long cocktail type tomato has become a standout favorite in our try. Slightly crunched texture, high ketchup color, and perfectly balanced flavor. 
big rainbow. <laughs> That's the big rainbow. <laughs> I like saying that, big rainbow. <laughs> An heirloom preserved, <laughs> preserved by members of the Seed Savers Exchange. Huge fruit, huge fruit to two pounds. Um, delicious and sweet tasting. Very striking. Sliced yellow flesh with neon red. Um, the blue, beautiful tomato. Mm. That look good, y'all. Gorgeous deep blue black shoulders make this unique, just unique among, amongst slicing types. Slicer to eight ounces. People are still running around because this is going to be one of our last days. Or, I mean, one of the last days that we're going to be having um, temperatures that are um, where you can wear a little slight little, little jacket or whatever. You know, pretty soon it's going to be hitting up. We're supposed to have, no, 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 I take that back. We're going to have a few nice days next week. But besides that, it's going to start to get cold. But The green zebra. Um, it's a lime green, very attractive, rich tasting, three ounce fruits. Um, sweet, but sharp bites. What do we have here? This is, I'm not going to do it. Um... <laughs> It's prolific and beautiful. It's multicolor inside and out. Oh, okay, okay. I guess that's maybe why I picked it. Superb flavor, one and a half um, pound fruit, very heavy gills. The pork chop, pork chop, pork chop tomato. It's a true yellow tomato. It was bred by Brad Gates. It's a medium size. Um, it's a flattened beef steak has sweet tomato flavor with hints of citrus. That's what it was. It was a hits of citrus, citrus that I was inclined to get. Um, here's the last one out of that one. Discovered in planting of Beauty King. Um, large fruited slicer, one pound fruit, striped red and green, superb flavored. That's pretty dope, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool there. So let's take these. Put those on top of here. And here's the last one. I think this is my last order. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I've received all my seeds. I was supposed to be receiving some other stuff in the mail, but don't look like they was cooperating with me. And I don't have time to play no games, so... I'm gonna get my money back. Money back. Okay, so let's see. Here's my free seed. The Mizuna. Yeah. A newly developed um, Japanese hair look. Nutritious purple stems and dark greens make a lovely contrast. And a delicate flavor is unparalleled. <laughs> they be writing some stories on here, huh? <laughs> a small percentage of the plant will have smooth mustard shaped leaves. Okay, okay. Yeah, I had to get another pack of these. Um, I think I messed up the other pack of mines. I think I left my. I let them get wet. But it's a tasty heirloom originating in West Virginia. Um, beautiful orange beefsteak fruit is very flavorful and superb. Superbly sweet. Fruit often exceeds one pound. Mm. I thought for sure I bought this. I can't believe I bought it again. Um, it's a traditional remedy for coughs. Maybe I was trying to do a... I don't know why I got it, but I got it. Um, somebody did this on their live. Um, they had the buttercup. Was it Precious? It might have been Precious. I think she... Cause she who, Somebody did a butter, buttercup squash, and I was like, I've never heard of that. And then I read about it. Let me see. Uh, this was bred in North, North Dakota State University in the 1920s as a replacement for sweet potatoes. He replaced them with sweet potatoes? It's gotta be pretty sweet. It says, very sweet, dry flesh of unique, of excellent quality, deep orange flesh green skin roughly three pound fruit yeah we're gonna check that out 
And of course, you gotta get the purse lit. Okay, sell by 12, 20, 31, 22. Uh, pack for 20, 22. This person. This is the one they sent me an email about, and I already had some plants in my, I had some seeds already in my, um, in my cart. So I went on to grab this when they sent me the email. But Perslin is a powerhouse of plant nutrition, considered one of the plants of the planet. Wait. Considered one of the plant's world's richest source of omega-3 fatty acids. The leaves contain more vitamin A than almost any plant. And with that pleasantly, a pleasing, salty, slightly sour flavor and succulents and the cultural potent, potency is boundless. Oh, that's a potential. <laughs> Well, here's the last one. This is my squash. It's the butternut. Okay. It's an Italian butternut type. Mm-hmm. Flesh is deep orange and sweet. Perfect for desserts, roasting, baking, and stuffing. Great for market. I mean, I like it, you know. So, that's my seed haul for today. As y'all see. So, this will be my last one. We're going to start the, um, the indoor gardening. Or maybe I've been doing the indoor gardening. I just wanted to remind myself of this. I don't know. But this is how we get now. Yeah, it's good shot. All right, y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one. Um, y'all have a beautiful day. And remember, trust the process. That's important. All right, y'all. GT out.